Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in one hundreds. In this tutorial we will cover numbers up to 10,000. Now in the previous tutorial we covered counting in one hundreds up to 1,000. If you've gone through that this will be just as easy to go through. Our first example is 4,500. Now what number comes after 4,000 500 if we are counting in hundreds. First, highlight the hundred. It's five. Add one. That becomes six. So the answer is 4,600. The units and tens do not change. 4,500 becomes 4,600. It is very, very simple. Let's look at one more. We've got 8,900. What number comes after 8,900 if we are counting in hundreds? Well, the same principle. We've got hundreds. It's a 9 plus 1. So what does that become? I'll just stretch this out. 9 plus 1 is 10. Well, now we've got to add 1 to the 8. That becomes 9. 9,000. Don't forget, the zero, 00 here does not change. 8,900, the next number is 9,000. Now, you recall the sequence we went through? It's very, very simple. Let's work through one final example. Suppose this time we've got a, a sequence of numbers. 6,800, blank, blank, 7,100, and one more blank. Okay. Let's start with the first one. First, find the hundreds column. It's here. It's an 8. Add 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So therefore, it becomes 6,900. Okay, the next one. I'm going through this quickly because counting in hundreds is so simple. Now in this scenario, find the hundred. It's a 9. You've got to add 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Now we have to add this 1 to the 6. That becomes 7. So we've got 6,900. The next number is 7,000. After that, we've been told it's 7,100. And the very last one, find the hundreds. It's a 1. Add 1 becomes 2. 7,200. So the sequence of numbers is 6,800, 6,900, 7,000, 7,100, 7,200. It can't get any simpler than that.